ओके सो वेलकम ऑल गाइस सो दिस इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू लीनियर एंड सर्कुलर अरेंजमेंट्स सो विल सी अबाउट द बेसिक्स एंड सम टिकी पॉइंट्स ऑफ लीनियर एंड सर्कुलर अरेंजमेंट्स एंड हाउ टू टैकल दोज पॉइंट्स ओके तो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट दोज ट्रिकी पॉइंट्स हेयर लेट मी जस्ट क्लियर टू और थ्री थिंग्स हेयर ओके द फर्स्ट थिंग इज बेसिकली इन एनी सर्कुलर अरेंजमेंट ओके सो इन एनी सर्कुलर अरेंजमेंट्स वन वंस वी रीड वंस वी रीड लाइन्स लाइक दिस फॉर एग्जाम्पल एट पीपल आर सेटिंग अराउंड अराउंड अ सर्कल ओके सो इफ एट पीपल आर सेटिंग अराउंड अ सर्कल सो बेसिकली दो एट हैज टू बी सिमेट्रिक सिमेट्रिक मीन दो शुड बी इक्वली स्पेस राइट सो डोंट मेक एट पीपल लाइक दिस वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट दैट्स रॉन्ग ओके सो दैट्स रॉन्ग एक्चुअली सो दैट्स वाई ऑलवेज वेन एवर एवर इट इज रिटर्न दैट एट पीपल आर सेटिंग अराउंड अ सर्कुलर टेबल इट ऑटोमेटिकली मीन्स दैट दिस दे आर सिमेट्रिक दैट मीन्स दे विल बी फेसिंग लाइक दिस दिस पर्सन इज फेसिंग दिस पर्सन If they are facing center, this is facing this person. This is facing this person, and this is facing this person. Is facing this person like this. Okay. So whenever you, if you are making six people, make those to be equally spaced, right? So if you are making six people here, so make this to be equally spaced here. For example, let's make like this: one, two, three, four, five, six, right? So that persons are facing each other because that's how the sets are formed. Once you go inside the set, it is written that A is facing B or B to the left of C. D and E are facing each other, right? So basically, there are certain different kinds of set here. People facing center also, people facing outside also. Okay. Similarly, once you go in linear arrangement, right? So in linear arrangement, so whenever it is written that five people are sitting, uh, are are sitting in a line, that basically means that one, two, three, four, five. Make like this. And sometimes they also mention directions. Okay, that five people in a line are facing all are facing south, all all are facing north. This is north, north, east, south, west, right? So if all are facing, basically, if all are facing a uh, north, in that case, or all are facing south, so in both the cases, you can just assume that all are facing same direction, right? So let's say you are facing right now. This is this is your face toward the screen right now. So you can just make like this: one, two, three, four, and five. If all are facing facing same direction, it doesn't matter. It is north or south. You can just directly make uh, directly directly uh, put uh, yourself like in your screen position. Okay, so this is your right, okay, and this is your left, okay. And similarly, in circular arrangement, when all are facing center, so always, so always, but if you see this, if somebody is sitting here, let's say you are sitting here, so always get that direction fear out. Many people uh, in in exam situation tend to get that directions wrong. Okay, very very simple, right? Let's say you are facing sitting here. So if you are facing center, as you were to be sitting right now, okay, you are sitting sitting facing the facing table right now. Or sitting towards table. This is your right. This is your right. Obviously, this is your right, and this is your left. This is your left here. Okay. So this is your right, and this is your left. So basically, all I can say that whenever we move in clock, when people are facing center, when all are facing center, or when anybody is facing center, so in in uh, with respect to that person, always once we are moving clockwise, that is actually left of that person. And once we are moving anti-clockwise, this is anti-clockwise direction, right? They are facing right to the. We are moving right to the direction actually. Okay, so clockwise and anti-clockwise, right? Okay, fine. Now similarly, uh, so here also in in uh, a straight line, always if it is given all are facing north, all all are facing south, all all are facing east, all are facing west, right? Basically west, basically what? So if all are facing west or all are facing any direction, if all are facing, if all are Facing same direction. Okay, so in that case, you can take all to be in front of you like this. If whether it is north, east, south, west, don't worry like that. Okay, and then your left is their left, your right is their right. So don't worry about directions. Okay, directions issue comes when it is given that for example one, two, three, and four, and then one, two, three, and four. So people are facing each other, right? It is written that four people. All face are facing each other. Ah, huh? like four people are sitting, uh, in facing north, and then the other four are facing them, uh, facing these people. Or it is given that given that they are facing south. Okay, so like this A B C D are facing north, and E F G H are facing south like that. Okay, so in that case, directions are what like. So in this case, this is my north. So in one case, if I am taking this to be my north, or this to be my my. Uh, if I'm facing a screen like this, right? So this is their left is my left, or so their right is my right. Okay, 
and their left is my left also okay but the people who are facing opposite like efgh okay so now it reverses right for this efgh this is their left okay and this is their right okay so that's how the direction changes right similarly for any people face face uh, sitting in a circle here okay so if somebody is uh, sitting in a circle here so in that case let's say somebody is facing outwards okay if somebody is facing outwards like this so just assume yourself right you are sitting around your home around uh, a dining table a circular dining table in your home okay or anywhere else and you are facing outside that means this will be your left so this will be your left and this will be your right okay unlike for a person who is facing inside okay so now if this is your left so always what will happen now so always this uh, anti clockwise is your left and clockwise is your right so i can generalize that always whenever i am facing a uh, whenever i am facing inside in any circular arrangement if i am facing inside in circular arrangement okay if i am facing if i am sitting uh, or if i am sitting towards the table or if i am facing inside right in that case uh, my left and my right side will be which one okay so i can say that in that case my left will be clockwise and my right will be anti clockwise and when i am facing outside in any circular arrangement okay then my left and my right okay so in that case uh, my left will be always anti clockwise and my right will be always clockwise okay that's the point here okay now let's move to few tricky situations here where uh, i see some lines and we get confused right let discuss those lines here for example look at this one first point here is uh if a and b interchange their positions then each of them exactly get, gets exactly one new neighbor right and this is especially about linear arrangement right so this is especially about linear arrangement so in linear arrangement we see this kind of lines here okay that if a and b interchange their positions then each of them gets exactly one new neighbor okay just try to analyze this point right okay now basically if you have analyzed and uh, thought of this before then in exam you won't take time while solving this kind of questions right okay so 3 3 let's say i am taking a 7% example so let's say there are seven people here 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 right so now now if a and b interchange their positions right so basically what i can say that what can be the positions of a and b okay so obviously i can in one case i can say that a and b can be at the a and b can be at the ends at the ends means a can be at position 1 and b can be at position 7 okay so if a will come at the play if b will come at the place of a and if a will come at the place of b so in that case each of them gets exactly one new neighbor it's correct right because in that case 6 uh, 6 was earlier the neighbor of b and 2 was earlier the neighbor of a so now 2 is a neighbor of b and 6 is a neighbor of a now okay so each of them has got exactly one new neighbor right now exactly i can interchange it also if a is at 7 and b is at 1 also same thing basically it's mirror mirror image right so again if they are at the ends so if a and b are sitting at the ends and if a and b interchange their position each e, each of them gets exactly one new neighbor right so that basically means that whenever you read, read such lines in any uh, set i should uh, one case come should uh, one case should come in, in my mind is that both of the persons can be at the ends also okay both the persons can be at the ends also right okay now analyze the other cases also right okay so let's analyze when they are not at the ends right or they are not when they are not at the ends or somewhere in between okay so one when they are not at the end so let's analyze that can they be at any adjacent position so can they be at any adjacent position okay or let me say that can they be at any gaps right at any gaps okay so there are some gaps between them for example if they are at any adjacent position for example let's say if they are at can a and b at 2 at 3 okay so let's let me rub this case guys okay now 
can a and b at 2 and 3 so can a and b at 2 and 3 let's analyze that can a and b at 2 and 3 so if a is at 2 a's never is 1 right now if b is at 3 b's never is 4 right now if i interchange their position that means now if b will come to place of a and if a will come to place of b then sorry if a will come to place of b in that case in that case can i say that a has got a new neighbor 4 and b has got a new neighbor 1 so they have got exactly one neighbor here okay so a has got a b has got a new neighbor 1 and a has got a new neighbor 4 fine now similarly so i can say that now i can say that they can be at 3 and 4 also so what will happen if a and b are at 3 and 4 that means they can be at a and b can be at 2 and 3 also they can be at 3 and 4 also huh they can be at 5 and 6 also right so basically they can be adjacent for example if a is here if a is at 5 and b is at 6 a has a neighbor 4 and b has a neighbor 7 if b comes in place of a and a comes in place of b a gets a new neighbor 7 b get b gets a new neighbor 4 okay so in that case again 2 3 3 4 up uh, again this can be this can happen right so 2 3 3 4 again for the right 4 5 like that okay so all they can be adjacent towards adjacent also their mirror image also possible means 2 3 is possible then 3 2 is also possible 4 3 means uh, 3 4 means 4 3 also like that okay so adjacent possible adjacent is possible okay now let's analyze they can be at some gaps also right so can they add be uh, some gaps here okay so for example let's, let's place a and b if i place a and b here so if a is at 2 and b is at four, 5 for example so if a is at 2 and b is at 5 in that case, A has a new neighbor, A has neighbor 1 and 3, okay. So, A has neighbor 1 and 3 and B has neighbor 4 and 6, okay. So, if I interchange, if B comes in place of A and A comes in place of B, A comes in place of B, right. So, now A has neighbor new, so A earlier A's neighbor was 1 and 3. So, earlier A's neighbor was 1 and 3 and now A's neighbor is what? 4 and 6. So, A has got two new neighbors, not one neighbor. So, this is a statement might help you in questions where you have two new neighbors, right? But not in one new neighbor case. Okay. That means you cannot have gaps of two here. You cannot have gap, gaps of two. Okay. Now, let's analyze that. Can I have gap of one also here? Can I have gap of one also here? Let's see here, guys. So, if I place A at two and B at four. So, now A's neighbor are one and three. And now B's neighbor are three and five. Okay. If I interchange their places, if B comes to A's place and A came, goes to B's place, so can I say that, uh, sorry, can I say that now, that uh, A has got a new neighbor 5. Now, A's neighbor are 3 and 5 and B's neighbor are 3 and 1. So, anyhow, 3 is their common neighbor in both the cases. So, 3 is their common neighbor in both the cases, right? That means if I interchange the position, Again, it holds true that A and B have got exactly one new neighbor. So, if A is at B, if A is at B, if A is, sorry, if A is at 2 and uh, if B is at 4, in that case, if A is at 2 and B is at 4, in that case, again, they will get exactly one new neighbor. Again, holds, holds true. So, basically, the gap should be there, but the gap should be only of one. So, gap should be only of one place. That's it. Right. So then it will hold true. For example, again, so now I can put it. So again, I can say that let's say for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I can also have B at 4 and A at 6. Again, same thing. A has got neighbors 5 and 7. B has got neighbors 5 and 3. If A's come to B's place and B's goes to A place, 5 remains their common neighbor. So no new neighbor they get. So A gets, an, uh, so no, 5 is not a new neighbor for them. So A gets a new neighbor 3 and B gets a new neighbor 7. That means again exactly one new neighbor. So again this is true. Okay. So it is possible at gap of 1 means 2, 4 or 3, 5 like that or 4, 6 like that. Right. Or then mirror image also 4, 2, 5, 3 like that. So once I, once we read this kind of statement in any set, I should quickly analyze that. Okay. This is the, this is the meaning actually. Right. What's the meaning here? The meaning is if A and B interchange their positions, 
uh, then each of them exactly get exactly new never. So these cases should come in my mind, right? Without stopping there. Okay. Now look at this second point here, guys. Okay. Second and third point says that number of persons to the left of A is equal to number of persons to the right of B. Okay. So this is again a good, uh, uh, good example and e easy to eliminate cases here. For example, if let's say, and uh, for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, let's just end up here. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Huh. Number of persons to the left of A to the number of persons to the right of B. So basically means that what, where can A and B be guys? So if A can, is at 1, B can be at 7. So number of persons to the left of A is 0. The number, number of persons to the right of B is also 0. Correct. A can be at 2, B can be at 6. A can be at 3, B can be at uh, 4. Right. Oh, sorry, B can be at 5. Or A can, so like this. Okay. So obviously both can't be at 4, 4. So and then mirror image also. Means 7 and 1 is also possible. A7, B1. Okay. So when A is at 7 and when B, even A is at 7 and when B is at 1. So there are 6 people to the left of A. And there are six people to the right of B. Again, both is equal. Both are equal, right? Seven one also possible. Six two also possible. Five three also possible. These are the, these are the possibilities. So it's very important because let's say I'm in some uh, middle of a set here. Okay, I'm some middle of a set here, for example. Okay, and let's say in in middle of a set, I realize that I have this uh, four five six seven. Let's say three two five two seven. Okay. So if I have these, if I have these lines uh, filled here, okay. So I can suppose that uh, in some set, let's say J and Q are filled here, okay. And now this is statement I, I read that number of person to the left of A is equal to the number of person to the right of B. So very quickly I should understand that if there are seven persons here, okay. So in that case, the sum of one and seven is always eight, two and six is always eight, three and five is always eight. All sum is always eight, right? So wherever I place this. A and B both should be some eight, right? So if you see, so only two cases will be possible. In one case, A will be here at one and B will be at seven. And in the other case, okay, uh, B will be uh, here. A, uh, B will be here, obviously. And uh, A will be here. Okay, so let's say these, these are occupied, right? Ma suppose uh, J, Q, and let's say I, I put some R also here, right? So if J, Q, R are occupied, so if I read this statement, then very quickly I should realize that, okay, only this is a possibility, right? So that sum should be eight. Again, for example, if you, if you understand this, for example, let's see, if I if have some example of floors here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And again, I'm trying to solve this set. Okay. And, and I'm in the middle of a set. So there are six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight floors here. Okay. There are floors. So if, if, if floors are written here and in the, in that case, if, if they're asking me that number of floors below B is equal to number of floors above C, right? And let's say already I fill here A, B, C, D are filled here for, sorry, C, D already is here, no? Let's take some other name here. I'm just trying to make you explain this, explain, understand the situation here. Okay. So let's say I already filled this, uh, some, uh, P, Q, R, S is filled here. For example, in middle you're going on in a set. Okay, so very quickly you realize that if this is a, if this is written here, that number of floors below B is equal to number of floors above C. So again, if, if there's eight floor here, so wherever you will place B and C, the sum should be nine. Correct, right? Because if you place, if, if you place uh, C at eight, if you place B at one, one plus eight is nine or two plus seven is nine, like that it goes on. Anna. So you quickly realize that there is no place left for B and C here. Okay, because you cannot get already one, two, three, four being occupied and five, six, five, six, seven, eight are blank here. So the moment you see this, you understand that you're doing something wrong. This is not possible. Okay, so something is wrong. So let's go with some other cases, right? So we'll see the situation in the middle of the uh, sets actually, right? But this is, this is what you need to understand. So these are quite important points. Okay. So number of persons to the left of A, right of B or floors below B and C, this will solved by basically pairing. This is called pairing, right? Simple pairing. Okay. So you can just do this pairing here. Uh, like this, you can just do this pairing here. Okay. That 
above eight and below one, or should be two and seven, or could be three and six like that. Okay. Chalo. So let's continue continue this video in the next class, guys. Okay. Thank you for watching.